Hi everybody, trademark attorney Josh Gerben. I'm here to talk about how you can register a trademark for your clothing brand. So there are three major steps you have to complete to get a trademark registered for your clothing brand. The first is you need to conduct a full and detailed clearance search on the trademark itself. The second is you have to file a trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And the third is you have to provide proof that you're actually selling your clothing items across state lines. So let's start with the first point, which is that you need to conduct a very good trademark search. This is a highly overlooked item by most folks that are trying to register a clothing brand. Because selling clothing is a relatively easy business to get into, there are more trademark applications filed for clothing brands than just about any other type of product or service with the USPTO every year. This means it's an incredibly crowded space and can be difficult to get a trademark approved because there's so many other trademarks already filed, somebody may have something similar to you. So it's very important to know that if you go online and do a trademark search yourself, you're probably only going to be looking for identical matches in the software that's available online. If you hire an attorney to do the search, they're going to be able to look for phonetically similar marks, marks that have a similar meaning, marks that are even just somewhat spelled a little differently. There's a lot of software tools that attorneys have that are just not out there and available for public use. So while it seems extremely self-serving for me as an attorney to stand up here and say you should hire an attorney for your trademark search, you should really hire a trademark attorney to help you with your trademark search. They're going to be able to do a lot more than you can do yourself and hopefully save you time and money by identifying problems before you ever file a trademark application. Now once your search is complete, the second step is to file your trademark application with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. When filing an application for a clothing brand, we're typically looking at filing the application in two different classes of goods or services. The first is Class 25. Class 25 is the category for clothing with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Now, very important to know here, if you're drafting the application, you can't just put in clothing or sports apparel. You have to list the individual items that you intend to sell, meaning shirts, pants, hats, jackets, that type of list. The government will refuse your application initially and require further clarification if you just make a very broad claim. So you have to put those individual items in there. It's very important not to put too many individual items in there, however, because you have to prove that you're selling all of them before your trademark can actually register. Now the other class that many clothing brands will consider filing in is Class 35. Class 35 is for an online retail store that would sell clothing. So if you have your XYZ brand of clothing and you're selling it from XYZ.com and XYZ.com is an online um, retail site, you can also qualify prote for protection in this additional class. So by filing your clothing brand application in both class 25 and class 35, you're getting about as broad a protection as you can from the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Now the final point here is that before your trademark registers, you must have actual use in commerce of your trademark. This typically means selling your clothing across state lines. Now sales to just your local community or local town are typically not enough because trademark rules require that you're doing business in more than one state to have a federal registration. So very important that you're selling clothing in at least two different states and that your brand name or your trademark appears on the labeling or tagging for your clothing. You cannot just put a trademark on the front of a shirt or the front of a hat and call that a trademark use. The government will see that type of specimen when you have to submit it and tell you that's not a trademark use and you can't have your trademark. They want to see it on a tag, so think of a neck tag, a hang tag, even a label that, or sticker that goes on the clothing itself. Something that's a branded use of your trademark to show folks that when they're buying your goods, they're buying that particular brand of goods. So if you have any questions on that requirement, just go buy a Nike shirt off the rack at Sports Authority. You're going to see all the hang tags and labels that say Nike on it, in addition to maybe Nike across the front, but it's going to have Nike in all those branded locations as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. As a quick recap, if you're trying to register a clothing brand, there's three critical things you're going to have to do. One is a really good trademark search. Two, you have to file a trademark application in class 25 with the USPTO and potentially class 35 as well if you have an online retail store. And finally, you're going to have to prove that you're selling goods across state lines using your trademark on tags or labels for your clothing. 
I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any further questions or would like assistance with your trademark, feel free to get in touch with us.